With a lineage that traces back decades, the Mercedes-Benz E-Class stands as a testament to elegance and cutting-edge engineering. It also happens to be one of my favorite cars in the world, so this review won't be biased at all. Just kidding. It's precisely because I know the E-Class so well that I'm not going to pull any punches when it comes to this all-new W214 model. I've reviewed all E-Class generations from the W210 onwards the one that came out in 1994, and then my dad's old W123 was one of the cars he would let me drive in non-traffic areas and secluded backroads as a kid. This is one of those vehicles where you'll always know what to expect, and you'll likely never be disappointed by what you get. You could get into a W211 today and still feel like you're in a proper premium sedan, as long as it's been well maintained. Same goes for the W212, those things make for terrific use per purchases, although I tend to favor the pre-facelift version, as far as styling is concerned. Put an AMG pack on it, and it's going to look like a million bucks. I feel the same way about the W213, surprisingly, I think the pre-facelift version looks better, although looks were never an issue with the previous Gen E-Class. Rather, some people pointed out various cost-cutting measures undertaken by Mercedes, resulting in an interior that didn't feel as plush as expected. It's true, some of the plastic used in the W213 were a bit of a letdown, but only if you're nitpicking to some extent. Still, the same issue persists on this all-new W214 model, although the interior as a whole looks absolutely amazing. The visuals and overall ambience are both terrific, but more on that later. The E-Class has always had this commanding presence about it, sort of an understated luxury. It doesn't beg for attention, but you'll notice it when it's there. Mercedes unveiled the all-new W214 14 in April of last year, using the rear-wheel drive-based MRA2 platform as its underpinnings. It's grown compared to its predecessor it's longer by about 1.0 in, 25 mm, wider by 1.1 in, 28 mm, and just a tiny bit taller, by less than an inch. 